The objective of the study was to ensure that one of the most commonly prescribed medications for heart failure did not inadvertently lead to a higher incidence of Alzheimer's dementia. This study took advantage of the fact that large databases have been collected of patients who are being treated with the agent Secubitril Valsartan. The trial design involved looking at EMR records for over 11,000 patients. It was retrospective and observational over a three-year time period. Three years down the road, patients who were taking Sacubitril Valsartan were 30% less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease, dementia, or cognitive decline. This study showed not only was there not a signal that there was worsening neurologic function, that potentially Secubitril Valsartan could be beneficial in patients to avoid neurologic complications. This beneficial association was present in all racial and ethnic groups that we looked at, and both men and women. The results of the study show that, if anything, the use of Sacubutrol and Valsarin actually had a lower incidence of dementia, cognitive decline, or a new diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Stony Brook Medicine has the unique ability to bring together neurologists, nephrologists, and cardiologists in a way to ask questions that are important for the future of cardiology.